there, friends in Holiday Land. How's your season treating you? It's gonna be treating you a lot better after I teach you this really fast, super easy hors d'oeuvre of the moment. <laughs> it's an herb and garlic pinwheel that you can whip up at the last minute, make them and freeze them and bake them. They're super versatile, delicious, serve them with cocktails and everybody will be clamoring for the recipe. The first thing you wanna do is chop up some fresh herbs. Anything you have left from the holidays will work. I have chives and parsley today. Think about the flavor of the herbs that you're using because it really makes a difference in the amounts that you're gonna to wanna to use. Things like thyme or rosemary or even chives have kind of a stronger flavor. Parsley obviously has a more mild flavor. Keep them in balance together. I'm using parsley and chives, so I'm gonna go heavy on the parsley and a little bit lighter on the chive. And all told, I need about a third of a cup of mixed herbs. Does that look like a third of a cup? That looks good. Put that in a little bowl. Two cloves of garlic. You wanna mince those. Everything needs to be pretty fine so that it combines together well and spreads out evenly over the puff pastry. You know you can make puff pastry, have you ever done that? And I would take all the convenience and speed and fantasticness out of this. I mean, it would taste fantastic, but it would also take like three days to make it. So maybe don't make puff pastry for this. Reserve it for a special occasion. Not that the holidays aren't a special occasion, but you have to treat yourself special too during the holidays and it can be kind of stressful, right? So Take it easy on yourself and use sorbet. The garlic goes in with the herbs and then two tablespoons of olive oil, aprox. <laughs> you can season it with a little bit of salt and pepper and then we'll season again later. Set that aside for a second. Clean off your board because you need to unfold your puff pastry here and you want it nice and clean. Dust your board with a little bit of flour, not too much, and then take your defrosted puff pastry and lay it on your board. You need one sheet. Defrost your pastry in the refrigerator overnight, but don't take it out and let it get warm at room temperature too far ahead, otherwise it'll be really hard to handle. Even it out. Spread your garlicky herb mixture evenly over your puff. Puff pastry, who doesn't love it? Makes anything special. That's what I like about it. Make sure it's nice and even. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's gonna get rolled up now. So take it from one long side and just start rolling it up into a little pinwheel. Make it nice and tight so it stays together. Ah, oh, look at that, how nice. Cut them crosswise, about a quarter of an inch thick. The end one's not gonna have that much filling in it, so don't worry about that. Take a tray that's lined with parchment paper to bake on. Make them pretty, because you're gonna be serving these to friends and family. They do get a little mushed out of shape. I just press them back into a round. I think when they puff up, they're gonna reform themselves anyway. I'm gonna just do another tray. You don't want them too crowded, because it is puff pastry and it puffs up, right? If you would like to, at this stage, you could throw these into the freezer, wrap them, obviously, and freeze them for up to a month. Take them out of the freezer, throw them into a 400 degree oven, and bake them up. It's a great make-ahead hors d'oeuvre. Make sure your oven's at 400 degrees. Throw these guys in there for 15 minutes and you have a warm, delicious hors d'oeuvre ready to serve. They're so easy, you don't even really need to make them ahead. That's what's so great about them. Because how long did that take? Five minutes to chop the herbs and a minute to roll it up. Warm and fragrant. Look how cute they are. They're all like wonky and they grew and they shrank. I love it. It's exactly my kind of thing. And people are gonna go crazy for this fantastic, super easy, simpler than you can ever tell anybody because they shouldn't even know because they're gonna think they're really fancy or a Where's my cocktail? <laughs>